This is Spotlight TV. I'm your host, Joanna Luda, live on location here at Downsview Park. We are joined with Alex Dupuy. How you doing? Good, you? Good, good. I want to know. Tell me about your journey, how it started for you. How did you get the ring that you first got to be in Argos, and how did that make you feel, man? Uh, it was kind of a dream come true. Since I was young, I would want to be a professional athlete. I was playing hockey until I was 18, so uh, I started footballing late, and uh, finally, uh, Throughout my career in the university, I started believing uh, that I could play professional football. And uh, when I got the call from the Argos, we were all like the, my university team together, uh, looking at the draft and uh, watching uh, the, my other teammates mm -hmm. getting drafted mm -hmm. for me. And when I finally got the call from the Argos, it was a dream come true. And uh, I was I was always being in blue throughout my uh, university and CJF. So being with the Argos, still in blue and still close to Montreal was. Uh, really appreciate and really exciting for me. Well, um, that's that's dating back to uh, coming out of college and going to the NFL first, and that was uh, quite the experience. Um, like I said, very unexpected. I just gave it a shot and ended up getting a free agent deal to go to Jacksonville. Um, and it was, I mean, it's like a dream. Like, like you'd imagine, you know, any kid getting a call after, you know, playing a sport their whole life and dreaming about it, and then all of a sudden it becomes reality. So, yeah, it's a... Uh, it was uh, a great moment. Oh, it felt really good, you know, because I was at home and uh, I was coming off of an injury, so I didn't I didn't know if a team was gonna sign me or not. And uh, I got the call from the Argos, and I was really excited. And me and my dad, so I just couldn't wait to get out here. And now I'm here, so. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> I want to know. Okay, before you start your day, before you're gonna play on Saturday against Ottawa, what do you do? What's your regimen? Uh, I'll go eat breakfast, just relax, go back on my plays. And after that, I'll take a little nap, hydrate myself, and just uh, be ready for the game. Take a coffee when I woke up from my nap and just uh, get ready. Um, it, it really starts like two days before the game. I mean, obviously we're preparing now, but the, as far as the personal stuff, it's just a lot of hydration and rest and uh, good meals. You kind of get to, you know, uh, forget about the, the cost of the meals while you're on the road and, uh, you know, make sure you uh, indulge a little bit and maybe some ribs and chicken and make sure you're full and satisfied. Um, other than that, you know, just making sure you know the plays and uh, knowing what you're doing so that when it does come time for kickoff, you can just relax and, and play loose. Yeah, pretty much um, in the locker room, we got I got a boom box in there, so I kind of get the guys going, play a lot of music. And you know, music just gets your, your spirit going and, your, and, and get you ready for practice. And uh, I'm happy they have the music out here in practice too, because even though you're tired and running plays, you can still hear the music subconsciously. And you know, it gives you that motiv and motivation to go out there and make the play. And I want to know, since Argos does so much for the community, they give back so much to the community, what does it mean to you giving back to the community? Uh, I think we never realize as athletes the, the impact we have on people. And uh, the first time it hit me was uh, last year when we did the Thanksgiving, uh, I don't know how to call that, but Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, just to see like little kids like wearing like a, it was a maple leaf jacket. I could see myself when I was uh, younger, uh, like wearing a jacket from the Montreal Canadian or something like that. And seeing them like having to ask for charity to go eat when I never had to do that because I was fortunate enough to be in a family that was wealthy enough to eat it each day really touched me. So uh, to see the, the look in his eyes and see that we brightened his day just because we were there and giving him dinner was really something that touched me. And uh, like I said, I called my, my parents after that and told them thank you for the, the chance I had to uh, food and food every day. That's always a fulfilling experience. You know, I wish I did it more in my free time, um, but it does help. I'm glad that, that the Argos do a, a good job of putting uh, together community events. Um, whether it's serving food uh, on Thanksgiving or, you know, just finding some, some kids that may need a, a good talking to from some role models. Oh, it means a lot. Um, I do a lot of charity work with um, a lot of Pop Warner teams in, in the summertime. I do, like, coaching and stuff like that just to be around football and watch the young guys because I was, I was once them and letting them know that, you know, if I could do it, you definitely could do it. So it means a lot to me, and um, that's something that I look forward to doing, too. That's something that I look forward to doing every year. Salut, c'est Alexandre Dupuis des Argonauts de Toronto, le numéro 43, pour regarder Spotlight TV avec Joanna Luna. Hi, this is Chad Kakert, and you're watching Spotlight TV with Joanna Luna. What's up, man? I'm Vidal Hazelton here with Spotlight TV, and I'm here with my girl, Joanna Luna. 